Good evening friends, I am Sanjay Indani delivering a power talk. Today we are talking about traceability. All food safety standards emphasize on traceability aspects. Not only that, but the regulation, food safety regulation emphasize upon the traceability. When we talk about the traceability, it is so simple to understand, it is ability to trace something and that becomes a traceability. But as it is simple to talk, it is very difficult to implement. So what does this include? There are two components of traceability. The first component is tracing. So when you say tracing, it is backward. You are a manufacturer and you need to trace your raw material. You need to trace your packing material. You need to trace the ingredients. It means you need to go through the process till your supplier to understand the supplies. That is first part. The second requirement is tracking and when you say tracking, it is forward. So you have produced the product and now you have dispatched. So who are the people it has reached? It might be with the wholesaler, it might be with the retailer. To find out that, that is tracking of your product. So the combination of tracing and tracking forms a traceability. So you need to have both the things in place. So it means your raw material supplier to your customer. You need to integrate that. And for that, you need all records. And all these records, right from receiving of or procurement records to the delivery records will form a traceability, traceability records. And there are many challenges involved. The identification of raw material is one of the biggest challenge because the people who are handling that becomes difficult to train them about the identification, identification of the lot. We have various terminologies used like GRN, MRN and this and that. Basically it is identification of the raw material or packing material or ingredient lot so that it can be traced and tracked throughout the process. It is very important to identify the material to ensure that the FIFO or FEFO is followed first in first out or first expiry first out. If you do not have identification, you cannot ensure that the FIFO or FEFO is followed. Due to various constraints, managing stock is becoming difficult and there the traceability fails. That is one of the aspect. Similarly, the dispatch. The dispatch of finished product, maybe you are managing through some software or some mechanism, but the physical dispatch is very, very important, which is again a challenge and there we fail in first in first out and first, first expire first out. So these are the challenges to implement the traceability, whether it is small organization or a larger organization the challenges remain there because a lot of things are being handled, a lot of material is being handled by the people and training is one of the important aspect in the traceability. You need to train your people on identification of the stock, managing the stock, releasing the stock on first in first out basis or dispatching the goods. When it goes to the next chain and there again you have various challenges because in Indian context, the most of wholesalers, retailers, traders, they do not maintain the traceability and there comes the requirement of recall. So the traceability plays a very important role in managing either withdrawal or a recall. So hence traceability is one of the integral part of the food safety management system. I hope it is clear. Thank you very much.